Hello. Hope you're enjoying Gamescom so far, whether you're watching at home or on screen. I'm joined by an extra special guest today. It's none other than Hideo Kojima. Hello, Mr. Kojima. Hello. I hope you're well. Um, have you enjoyed Gamescom so far? Yeah. Excellent. Um, we've had an amazing response on Twitter. All the fans have been sending in their questions for you. So let's get started with the first question. Uh, question one, um, other than your own robot creations, such as in Zone of Enders and um, the Metal Gears, what are your favorite robots? So I'm from the robot generation in Japan. I, of course, I love robots. All the the giant 28, giant robot, capture robot, messenger Z. I like all of this, but to be honest, more than robots, I like more the humanoids, uh, the uh, cyborgs, the androids, uh, these characters that are up between humans and machines. Uh, a great example is Kikaider, uh, or maybe Kamen Rider. More like the uh, unique hero that portrays a uh, guy that is being suffering between being a machine and a human and still fight the bad, bad guys. I like better those heroes. Brilliant. Thank you so much for answering that question. So, second question. What is your proudest achievement? <laughs> well, honestly, there's nothing I'm proud of yet. I'm not at that point of my career where I honestly can look back and say I'm proud of this or that. Uh, that said, though, uh, coming here to Gamescom or yesterday in the co in the conference that we had uh, all the people that showed and looked happy because of Frogs, well, that's something that made me proud, certainly. Uh, also here, li looking at all the cosplayers and, uh, you know, people enjoying because of the things I created all from all over the world, getting together. That's something that I um, certainly feel proud of, I guess. Brilliant. Um, okay, so uh, does the news influence themes in Metal Gear Solid? So, well, uh, most pe uh, as everyone else, as every all people, I live in a specific era, a specific time, and uh, whatever surrounds me, whatever I see, whatever is around me, uh, has an influence in me. Uh, this is very nat natural, all creators. Whatever is surrounding me, whatever I see has an influence in me. Whatever is happening at that point, or whatever at that point I think will happen, or whatever is something that is happening that I necessarily don't don't like or is giving me a discomfort. This end, ends up reflected in the game. This is something that I don't do intentionally, but as everyone else, I'm living it through a specific time, through a specific era. And for all creators, I believe that's something very natural, that that time reflects in, in what we, whatever, whatever we create. It's very interesting. Um, question four, uh, what has inspired you to put CQC in the Metal Gear series? And have you trained in any martial arts yourself? So when we were, we're we finished Metal Gear Solid 2 and we were in the transition to Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, well, Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, we were thinking that the theme would be the game would be placed in the jungle, we wanted to give freedom to the people, and then at that point it became natural that we would need something, some sort of combat system uh, for close distance because people, uh, something would, would be hiding in that jungle. So we went to, a mil uh, to someone that could give us military advice and uh, ask him to teach us whatever was the newest um, combat system, which was at that point CQC. So uh, me, myself, and also development team members, we, got it, we went into the mountains for a week and trained, trained uh, to this newest CQC at that point. And for every Metal Gear Solid, for Peace Walker, and whatever came after, we did the same thing. The team goes for a week and get this military training so, so we can put that content into the game to, to better understand it. So don't mess, don't mess with you and your team with your CQC moves. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, finally, what is your favorite revenge movie? Uh, so, uh, well, for revenge movies, I guess I would go, uh, this is a movie that I, what I saw in my childhood and it had a deep impact in me, uh, Charles Brunson's Death Wish. Uh, later on, it became a series and uh, it really uh, made a huge impact on me. I remember a lot of the movie. Uh, if I was to pick anything from the last 10 years, I guess it would be Pac Chan's uh, Old Boy. Uh, there was a Hollywood remake, but, but I really, really enjoyed the, the original mo movie. 
Oh boy. That's a favourite of mine as well. <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Kojima. Um, that's so much for the fans. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. And for you guys at home, stay tuned for a wrap up video. And uh, yeah, keep watching.